previously we have talked a lot about our social issues and the causes of those issues that why we are facing such issues but in this module we are going to talk about a way forward it means that how we would be able to solve or resolve those issues of pakistani society which are not only affecting the culture as well as the structure of society but also the lives of people so let's first talk about the economic solutions because economy is pretty much contributive to the other problems as well so generation of job opportunities would be a way forward because uh, modern society is pretty much service oriented those uh, statistics reveal that the most advanced countries are having uh, a larger share of service sector as compared to the other sectors so we need to enhance our service as well as industrial sector in order to produce a lot of job opportunities the provision of quality education is another important aspect we should not merely rely on the quantity that how much students we are producing and also how uh, how much uh, grades they are uh, seeking but rather our focus should be more on quality education in other words we need to be focused less on academic ritualism and more on the goals of education by goals of education means that our focus should be more on the task oriented education that what this education is going to achieve rather than merely following the existing rules and merely following the rituals of this education system the provision of more technical education should be required because this period of modernization or this period of uh, post modern society this period of pretty much global society requires more and more professionals more and more specialized people more and more technical people so we need to produce more technical people which who should be uh, oriented towards the practical problem solving uh, kind of education instead of merely focusing on the theoretical aspects of education and controlling overpopulation has two di uh, diversified views one of the views is that pakistan has a greater chunk of the young population which can be used as the largest potential largest productive population of the whole world so it means that we have we are fortunate enough to have a relatively uh, larger chunk of younger population as compared to other societies which can be used as a resource rather than as a burden however for that we need to have adequate proper population planning uh, which should focus more on the activities that can surround the lives of young people uh, how we can make them more vibrant how we can make them more productive and how we can meaningfully engage them in the whole uh, uh, in the whole uh, structure of the society uh, promotion of the agriculture is another aspect uh because uh, agricultural products are pretty much mandatory pretty much required to survive because we uh, our uh, survival is dependent on the agriculture we get food from that agricultural products so agriculture needs to be given much more attention uh, uh, not only by the government by but by the non governmental organizations and also equal access to the market is uh, should also be prioritized in a way that poor people uh, have lesser opportunities to access the international markets for example 
maybe uh, since this is the globalized era and we are uh, much more uh, shifted uh, rather pretty much shifted on the online markets as compared to the real life markets so uh, we can develop a lot of mechanisms where even the poor vendors or the working class can also be directly linked with their customers through the uh, online mechanisms and such policies uh, needs to be implemented on the grassroots level and increasing the individual income it means that the focus should not be more on those who own the means of uh, production who own the resources and who are on the powerful who are already on the powerful position but the economic policies should be diverted to those who are on the marginalized position and who are the real working class they are the real contributors of the economy so the focus of the policies should be individual those individuals rather than those uh, few collectivities who are already on the powerful position and similarly uh, important aspect is the creation of safe working environment for both the genders especially for the female because uh, almost 50% of our population is female and interestingly there are more females who are getting higher education in Pakistan as compared to the males so we need to produce a pretty much safe and reliable working environment by keeping in view our cultural ideologies and our religious ideologies so that the female could feel comfortable in the working environment then we have the political solutions it means the formulation of a pretty much vibrant public policy and elimination of terrorism is a must because if we do not have the safe working environment here we uh, would be uh, losing uh, the potential of investors the sufficient allocation of funds to the education and health is a must because these two are consequentially interrelated not only interrelated but are also related to producing the other problems uh, poor health and poor education would ultimately produce the citizens who would be unable to work and who would be unable to be productive and eradication of corruption uh, must be prioritized why because it uh, discourages those who are having talent in your society and talented uh, hard-working intelligent people would lose faith on the system if they find that the merits are not taken care of so they would tend to be fleeing out of the country which means that it would create the brain drain uh, your best uh, brains would be going out of your country and in order to uh, preserve those brains in order to keep them uh, uh, keep them here in the country we need to produce uh, a, a reliable environment which could be trusted by the people which should ensure the merit in the country the establishment of training and technical skill centers should also be prioritized because today's era is more based on the practical knowledge uh, which should uh, generate um, more economic solutions as compared to uh, what we are seeing uh, that more theoretical knowledge have had been available in the books that was considered pretty much useless by the students and they often got alienated from that knowledge because it had little uh, practical utility in their everyday lives and encouragement of multinational companies should also be prioritized in a way that they should be given incentives uh, for investing in Pakistan and eradication of energy crisis is a must because if there is no energy available if there is no electricity uh, we won't be able to run our industry and consequentially would fail to meet the desired 
quality and quantity standards of global international markets. Uh, if we talk about the social remedies, it means the establishment of more and more schools in the rural areas and raising awareness about education, also raising awareness about water safety, arrangements of seminars for making people conformist to the social policies, betterment in the school infrastructure, and free and compulsory education should also be encouraged, and social campaigns against the illiteracy and other social menace should also be launched. Religious solutions means that to promote interfaith harmony, abolishment of hate literature, taking madrasa under the direct government control, formulation of strict policy about the hate speech, and indoctrination of the true spirit of Islam among people, and elimination of ex extremism and banning the terrorist outfits should be priority. And finally, if we talk about the educational solutions, it means that the adequate allocation of GDP to the education, mobilization of community for enroll, enrolling their children to the school, improving the infrastructure of education, imparting professional training among teachers, and the establishment of a uniform education system, which should not be based on the public-private, but on the one-syllabus education system.